Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to take you through some ankle mobility drills and releases that are going to help you to move more effectively when you're doing bodyweight movements such as squats. So one of the best ways to test whether or not you've got an impingement into the ankle is to do a bodyweight squat first of all. Now quite often what we see is when people squat they get to a certain range of movement but because there's a restriction in the ankle joint instead of being able to sit straight down into the squat they end up having to really hinge from the hips and lean forwards or create more of the movement through the hip and the knee itself and obviously over time this is going to cause issues not just at the ankle itself but it's going to put more pressure on the knees more pressure on the hips and the lower back so one of the simple ways of testing your squat is to do a couple of squats first of all just to see what your movement feels like and if you feel like you are starting to lean forwards all you need to do is just find a little bit of a ledge where you can raise your heels up slightly so we're using the platform here um, if you're at home you might want to put maybe a couple of books underneath your heels or roll a towel up and stand on that as well so it's just the heels that are raised up you go with your feet just outside shoulder width apart and then go into your squat and straight away you can see that the depth of my movement is a lot better or a lot deeper um, and the movement also feels a bit easier as well and now all I've done there by raising the ankle up on the ledge is mobilise my ankle joint so I've given it a better range of movement so in the next steps I'm going to show you how you can release off uh, the muscles that will restrict ankle mobility um, and also improve the mobility through some different drills as well. Okay so the first step that we need to uh, go through in order to release up the muscles that are going to influence your ankle mobility is using a foam roller and trying to get the calf muscle which is at the back of the lower leg. So when you've got your foam roller you take it onto the floor and then it's probably easiest if we roll one leg at a side okay, or one leg at a time so I'm going to start with my left hand side first of all, I'm going to place the roller just above my ankle joint. I'm going to bring the other leg over the top to add a bit of pressure to push down into the roller. And then I'm going to lift myself up and just use it like a rolling pin first of all. So I'm going from my ankle towards the back of my knee and just starting to assess where the tightness is. So if it's quite tender, you will feel straight away where those tender spots are. And these are like little sort of adhesions or tight spots in the muscle that needs to get released. So have a bit of a roll up and down first of all, just assess where the tightness is. I can feel a spot here, so I'm gonna hold that position. Um, you can bring yourself down onto the ground as long as you can still feel the pressure pushing down into the roller, and then just wait for that tenderness and that tightness to release off. So typically we hold it about 30 seconds or so. It's what we call trigger point releasing. So getting the trigger point, holding the pressure on it, and waiting for it to release and again from there if you want to take a bit of pressure off so if it feels too tender you can just go with one leg at a time put your other foot by the side and again roll from the back of the knee down towards the ankle figure out where those tight points are where those tender points are and then take a bit of time to relax into it place the other leg over the top again and just wait for that tenderness just to start to release off a little bit so obviously you do both sides, you do left and right. Probably want to look for maybe two to three um, different sort of tender spots or trigger points on each side. You can't really do too much foam rolling as well. So particularly if you find a lot of tightness in the calves, a couple of times a day is going to be uh, sort of a good way of approaching the muscle release that you need to get in order to regain the, the movement of the ankle. The next step from here is once you've actually started to release off the tightness in the muscle, we can then stretch it more effectively. So I'm going to use the wall here as a bit of a support. I'm going to do the stretch on my right leg. So I'm going to go for a slightly staggered stance. I'm going to use my hands up against the wall for a bit of support. I'm going to focus on trying to really lock out my right knee. So I'm pushing my right knee back to, into extension, driving my right heel down into the floor, and then just starting to lean forwards until I feel the stretch running up the back of the calf and maybe just across the back of the knee as well. So lock out the right knee, drive the right heel down into the ground, tilt forward slightly, find the stretch. And because we're doing the static stretch, we want to try and hold this for around sort of like 45 seconds to a minute in order for that stretch to take its full effect. Obviously do both left and right as well. When you stretch both sides, the third phase in this uh, process is to try and actually encourage the ankle joint to start moving again. 
So this is a wall ankle mobility drill. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use the wall. I'm gonna focus on my right hand side. I'm gonna start with my foot, probably maybe a couple of inches away from the wall. I'm gonna make sure that I keep my foot flat on the floor all the way through. So my right heel is always in contact with the floor. I'm gonna drive my knee directly over my big toe, going towards the wall and drawing back out. Now, as you can see, my knee hits the wall quite easily. My heel is still in contact as I drive into it. So from here, I'm just gonna bring my foot a fraction further back. And again, focus on keeping the ankle fixed. Drive the knee over the big toe, draw back out. Again, I'm gonna do maybe three to five repetitions. If it feels easy, I'm gonna bring it back a little bit further. And keep going to that point where you feel like your heel is just trying to lift up a little bit. And then work on driving over and drawing back out. Now you're probably gonna do maybe 15 to 20 repetitions on both legs. Just one little training note on this one as well, is that when you're focusing on this front leg driving in, lift the heel up on this back leg. So we're not focused on this back leg on this movement. It's purely on the front leg, driving the heel over, drawing back out. That back foot is just a stabilizer, so you can lift the heel up off the floor. So again, that sequence is to test your squat first of all, then do some foam rolling, then it's a static stretch, and then it's the mobility drill, trying to release the ankle off afterwards.